Hey everybody, I'm Tim Graves, PGA Professional and co-owner of the Graves Golf Academy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how building your chipping it will get you two birds with one stone. Not only will it improve your short game, but it can dramatically improve your ball striking. So watch today's video and watch our two birds with one stone. What is happiness? Happiness is achievement. What's the father of achievement? Motivation. What's the mother? Encouragement. The fine golf swing is truly achievement. Man may lie, cheat, and steal for gain. He will never gain the golf swing. To gain the golf swing, man must work. It's work without toil. For those of us who know and love it, golf is truly happiness. Hey everybody, let's talk about how two birds with one stone, you can actually work on chipping to get better at your full swing, okay? We talked about in the, in the previous video, we talked about how putting can improve your full swing, but this one's how chipping can improve your full swing. You remember, um, we're working our way up from putting to chipping to the, to the pitching to the full swing. We call it two birds with one stone. Again, why do we call it two birds with one stone? We call it for this very reason, because so many golfers don't work on a majority of their golf game. What's the majority of a golf game? Your short game, which is your scoring game. Remember, 70% of scoring occurs within 100 yards of the green. So 70% of scoring occurs with your putt, pitching, your chipping, and your putting. So if you're not working on you know that 70% of the time, you're not working really on sc the scoring part of the game. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to get two birds with one stone. I'm going to try to convince you today on how working on your chipping can actually improve your full swing, and then that'll get you two birds with one stone. Meaning not only will it help your scoring, which is the first stone, it'll help your full swing, okay, which is the second stone. Okay. So anyway, so let's talk about how chipping can improve your full swing. Because here's what we're going to do. Remember when most people do on a full swing and the mistake they make is that we are our biggest fundamentals we're working on when we work on chipping is we're trying to get our hands leading our hands down the line and we're trying to get our hands towards the target keeping our lower body flexed you know in the full swing and keeping it set where we can actually go down the target line okay so I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you a face on view and I'll give you a down the line view here what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna hit a good chip I'm going to show you how I'm going to set my lower body into this chip and get the hands down the target line. So as I sit up right now, I'm going to set up. My lower body is open. My upper body is square. Okay. I get the hand. I get the club face square to the to the target. And now I'm going to hit a chip and I'm going to set this lower body. So I hit this chip. I'm setting this lower body down. My both knees are flexing towards my lead toe. So I set up over this and I set both knees towards that lead toe. Now you notice, as both knees flex towards that lead toe, it allowed me to drop this trail shoulder down or the trail shoulder under, which allowed the hands to go down the target line, okay? The hands going down the target line gives me those three H's that we talked about in video number one, which is hands leading, hands down the line, and for putting, it was a hip check. But this gives me hands leading and hands down the line, okay? So, and I'm gonna give you a little bit down the line view here, okay? So, because this is what most people do when they hit a chip, okay, and I'm going to set up, and I'm going to get, actually, I'm going to get a couple balls here. So, I'm going to set up over this chip, and I have a couple balls I can use inside. And I'd suggest you guys do this inside. Now, I have our short game alignment board here, okay, and our short game alignment board, what it is, it gives us ball position, it gives us feet position, Okay, so it gives us feet position, it gives us ball position, it also gives us target line, it gives me a lot of great check systems on this. I suggest going on gravesgolf.com, going on our training, and you guys can see this tool we use, and I use this all the time, and all my students use it for their training, okay? So I'm going to set this down, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up, and I got the ball back in the chipping ball position. My lower body is open, my upper body is square. Okay. Remember, I want to get my lower body open because it allows me to clear my elbow across my hips. If I do not get the lower body open, I'm going to twist the body trying to get the hand down the line which is going to come over top of the shot. Okay, so now I've got my lower body open, got my upper body square, I've got my hands forward. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit and I'm going to hold this angle down the line. Now notice, right now if you look, I'm going to put a yardstick down and I'll put this right down the target line. And I'm doing this for a reason because I want to give a good reference on the camera here 
of how this works down the line. So now I'm going to set up and I'm going to hit a chip. As I hit this chip, both knees, I'm going to turn my hips back slightly on the chip, and I'm going to set both knees towards the lead toe. So again, both knees set towards that lead toe. As both knees set towards that lead toe, my trail shoulder will drop. As my trail shoulder drop, drops, my, allows my hands to come down the line, which allows the club head to go down the line, which allows my hands to lead and the hands to go down the line. If I were to hit this shot and straighten my lead knee, so my lead knee pulls out, now my shoulder comes across, as my shoulder comes across, that pulls the club to the inside. So I'm going to give you an example of both. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up with a good chip, I'm going to set up forward, I'm going to hit a chip, and I flex both knees towards that lead toe. And as you notice, I flex both knees towards that lead toe, that club went right down the line. In fact, that club is straight down that yardstick right now. It's straight down the line I started. And if you look, and a great reference to this, is it's the distance that started from the short game um, training board is the same distance as was when I finished. So right now in my impact position, or past my impact position, I hold this finish. My hands are leading, my hands are down the line, and believe it or not, I still have shaft leading in the club. Okay, hands leading, hands on the line, and I still have shaft leading in the club. All right, now, this is what most golfers do. They'll sit up over the same chip, they'll take it back, and then what they do is they pull that lead knee out. So they straighten the lead knee back at impact. And when they straighten the lead knee back at impact, they pull across it. And the second they pull across is look where my club came in. It came inside, so now I've lost the hands leading, I've lost the hands down the line, and obviously I flip or cast the club and it's going to be offline. So the key is here for the two birds with one stone is we're working on setting that lower body properly. We're working on setting that lower body properly. Setting that lower body, both knees towards that lead toe, allows us to get our hands down the line and allows us to keep that hands down the line the longest, which keeps the most consistency. Okay? So I'm going to give you a face-on view here. Okay? So I'm going to give you a face-on view of the same thing here and show you how it relates directly to the full swing. So again, I'm going to set up over a chip. Okay? The ball position is back, the lower body is open, upper body is square. Now I'm going to set up, and as I make impact, both knees flex towards the lead toe. So I set up, both knees flex towards that lead toe. And you notice I'm going to hold that position. So right now my hands are leading, my hands are down the line, and if you notice, I still have some shaffling. And that's the same thing I'm working on when I go to the full swing at impact. Notice, look at the full swing at impact. Here's my full swing at impact that just passed the impact of the full swing. Both knees are flexed. Both feet are down, both knees are flexed towards that lead toe, hands are leading, hands are down the line, and I still and I have shaft leading on the club. Now I go to a chip, and I work on a chip, do the same thing, and there's that same position. The only difference is that the wider stance, which is obviously for the, the faster swing or the long swing, but I still have my hands leading, hands down the line, and I still have shaft lean. So again, what you've got to do is you've got to work on your chipping and build that up to your full swing. Now remember, guys, this is what we talk about two birds with one stone. I cannot stress enough. I mean, I have a couple hours of instruction on our two birds with one stone instructional material that we have written at Graves Golf. Guys, I cannot stress enough. This is how our model works. This is how the Graves Golf single plane model works. This is how Mo Norman worked the model. Everything built its way up from the putting to the chipping to the pitching to the full swing. Because think about it. In today's golfing society or the way golf is taught today, so-and-so teaches the putting, so-and-so teaches the chipping, so-and-so teaches the pitching, and all of a sudden you go over here and learn the full swing. That's not what we teach. Every, every bit of our model is related. So when you're working on your putting, you're working on your driver at the same time. When you're working on your, on your chipping, you're working on your irons, your hybrids, your driver at the same time. It's all related. So think about it right now. How much of an advantage is it for us or for you if you're doing the single plane swing properly? How much of an advantage is it for you that you're going out and chipping and you're working on impact of your seven irons, of your hybrids, of your full swing, you're working on the same thing because it's all one model. And that's what we call the two birds with one stone. So guys, I would suggest, strongly suggest, going to Graves Golf, look at the two birds with one stone. It's instruction with two that'll change the way you think of the way golf is, the way golf is played. It's a great way to work on using one big model. Don't break it all up. We want our putting related to our chipping, our chipping related to our pitching, our pitching related to the full swing. So now all of a sudden, you can go out here and you got one of your friends talking to you or you're working with somebody, you can say, yeah, I'm working on my putting, but at the same time, I'm working on my driver. Why? Because I'm working on my hands lean, I'm working on my hands down the line, I'm working on, on getting that hip check or with your pitch chipping. I'm working on my hands Lead. I'm working my hands down the line. I'm working on that shaft lead, which is the same thing you're trying to get with that driver and impact or your irons and impact. So again, guys, Tim Graves with Graves Golf Academy, strongly suggest we're looking at the two birds with one stone. Learn how these things relate to each other. Learn how they relate to each other. We'll definitely improve your game and make this game a whole lot more fun for you.